you enjoy engaging in online military operations using your home console, chances are you like it Grog. With its futuristic single-player war appearing to be in good shape, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 is gearing up for a fierce and tactical multiplayer offensive that aims to make it the new king of the online shooter hill. A variety of embattled locations exist to keep online play visually and strategically interesting. Different versions of each map show the same terrain at different times of day, giving you a chance to admire a sunset or put your night vision to use. Close quarter skirmishes are common in levels like a post-tsunami city, while long-range firefights and ambush tactics play out in open outdoor levels. Cooperative missions against the computer will be available in the final game, but our time spent so far has focused on team versus team action. Coordinated team play makes a huge difference in most game modes, so strapping on a headset and communicating with your teammates is ideal. Solid communication and a decent strategy can go a long way in dominating a map. Standard match types have teams competing for points by racking up kills or fighting to hold on to territory. Other options include a grab the object contest that's essentially capture the flag and a free-for-all battle where everyone is an enemy. Past the basics, there are several new options for tweaking multiplayer matches. You might decide to spice up a standard kill contest by opting to make one player on each team an officer. Just make sure to guard your VIP if you don't want the opposing team racking up multiple points per kill. A few tweaks have been made to help balance out the multiplayer since the last grog. To combat the old problem of spawn camping, where an enemy's in your base killing your dudes as soon as they pop up, you'll appear at a random spot within a larger area and have a few seconds of invulnerability to work with just in case you do happen to appear right in an enemy's sights. As soon as you pull the trigger though, you're fair game. You're able to choose your soldier type before a match, such as a marksman, rifleman, or grenadier, but that doesn't mean you're restricted to a certain set of weapons. You'll have many, many options in arming yourself, with a substantial number of new firearms in every category compared to the first Graw. Any class can use any gun, bringing their own special skills to the table. An automatic rifleman can maintain greater accuracy during full auto fire, while a standard rifleman is better at taking shots while moving. You can't change soldier types during a match, but you can grab a different weapon loadout every time you respawn. Death can come quickly in Gra 2, so it's fairly easy to experiment or adopt a new strategy on the fly. Sniper on the ridge got you down? Grab yourself a rifle and snipe him right back. Grenades and explosives can also play a big part in battle, although the time it takes to switch and pitch one is likely to make you think before you pull the pin. To help you get a grasp of your strategic situation, the same aerial drones that send you intel in single player will beam you satellite data in multiplayer. Both teams have one, but if you spend too much time looking at the big picture, you're toast. The final piece of the puzzle is the crosscom. By holding the right bumper, you can view the battle through the eyes of another soldier. Again, don't spend too much time gawking as you're a sitting duck while doing so. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2's multiplayer appears to be stockpiling plenty of modes, maps, weapons, and futuristic twists like the drone cam and its high-tech heads-up display. At this point in time, the game is already looking very well equipped for its scheduled deployment in a couple of months. Stick with game trailers for more detailed reports from the front line as D-Day approaches.